Okay, we're at Bartow. Uh, we're at Oak Hill Cemetery, founded in 1848. There's soldiers from uh, Mexican Civil, Spanish American World War One and World War Two, Korea, buried here. The um, it's not abandoned. It's not an out in the middle of nowhere wood cemetery. It's actually right down the street from the courthouse. It's in historic downtown area. But what is very, very exciting for me is that uh, Evander M. Law is buried here. And I just found this out doing the research on what I was going to do today, uh, Thursday or Friday. In fact, I think it might have been even Friday. But so I've been really uh, stoked about this from that from that point forward. Um, my primary area of of study, my primary focus of study throughout my entire life has always been the uh, the American Civil War, the war between the states. Um, that's just what has always compelled me, and, and in particular the southern being a southern, it's a southern viewpoint and the um, the antebellum period and in particular as far as the Civil War is concerned the Army of Northern Virginia and the leadership I've been to the main uh, burial sites of all the top ANV leaders um, as well as many 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 uh, lesser luminaries major generals brigadier generals that sort of thing um, so, but, but, but finding out that Evander Law was buried here was, was totally unexpected and it's just a, a great find, a great, a great uh, something to put in, in, check off the list if you will. I had no idea the guy was buried from Alabama, I thought he was buried somewhere in Alabama, I mean I never really considered it. But coming in here I can see there's literally dozens of uh, Confederate graves here. Um, they're just, they're, they're all over the place. You, you, it would be hard not to see uh, one of them. We've got guys from Florida, guys from Alabama. Um, Evander Law was an educator. Moved down here after the war to start the uh, a military college in, in Bartow. And he did that. And then he passed. He was the last surviving major general of the Confederate Army. And that, that, that's pretty interesting too. He didn't pass till 1920. Um, so he lived here, contributed as a solid citizen for the rest of his life and this is an incredible find this 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 whole cemetery I mean this even if law wasn't buried here this would have just been a really neat cemetery there's uh, one of the there's a lot of the founders and the historical movers and shakers of, of Polk County buried here This guy here, man, I'm not sure, I don't know his whole history, but he was, uh, he's got a man manor. There's a National Historic uh, Register of Historical Places designation on, on, his, on his former home. And we're gonna, we're gonna see that today as well. But man's dot the, dot the cemetery, Hooker's, Boynton. So a lot of the, A lot of the people that, that started this place. One of the things I really like to find in these types of cemeteries are um, the detritus of a of a grave site. I mean, not just the the uh, or the stones are just worn away to the point where they're nubs and unreadable. It's one of the things that shows the age. Oh, that's rather sad. It shows the age of the um, of the cemetery and, and, the, and the, the grave. It's really compelling. So here we have 
Major General Andrew M. Law. This guy led troops in all the major eastern campaigns and distinguished himself in any, at every occasion. Um, it's just a true hero and, a, and, a, and a, an incredible find. Incredible find. Not often you find a. In fact, I don't know. Very, there's only a few handful of of people on his level in terms of seniority and you know uh, rank. I should say not seniority, but rank, leadership, and that sort of thing. anywhere in the state. I mean, there's very few, and most of those will be further north, but to find something like this in Bartow is just really, really compelling, really neat stuff. This is interesting. We have William Hampton Johnson, who served his country in the 7th Florida, Company E7 Florida. So it doesn't say where he went, but he could have been some of those major battles as well. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's like this would be his son, and he was in the uh, Spanish-American War. Following the tradition of serving his country. So, this is the Oak Hill Cemetery. It's an incredibly exciting find for me. And uh, just really interesting. So we're going to photograph it and move on down the road. And for now, we are out.